Hi chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. If you are new here, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you in advance for subscribing and hitting the notification bell for new videos. I hope that everyone is doing well physically and mentally. Today I will be unboxing the CRSP Crocs GG 6 quart touchscreen air fryer. So I got it from Target for 50% off the regular price. That was a good bargain considering the price. I do like the two colors, the black on red, like the popper color of red. I can't wait to use it in a few recipes. I believe 5% of the proceeds from my purchase went to fight for food insecurities. So Crocs collaborated with these three young men who are originally from the Bronx. On the box, it tells you a little bit more about them and what they represent to their community and other communities just like theirs. So let's move on to the unboxing. Guys, check out this beautiful packaging. Wow, this is fancy. So the first thing that I noticed is the instruction manual. And on the first page is a picture of Ghetto Gastro. First, we have the instruction manual with safety instructions, as well as assembling the air fryer. And it also has basic cooking times, as well as different cooking times for different vegetables, meat, seafood, desserts. It also has times for both roasting and air frying. Surprisingly, it has cooking times for desserts like cake. It has maintenance instructions. And this air fryer comes with a two-year manufacturer warranty. So let's see what's in the box. The packaging is on point. They even took the time to wrap the air fryer to prevent any scratches and smudges. There it is guys. It comes with a beautiful touch screen and a sturdy handle. It has a decent length cord to reach my kitchen outlet since I always struggle with that. It has an air vent on the back with a warning sign. I will keep it away from the wall for better airflow. The bottom has non-skid feet to prevent it from sliding and keep it in place while cooking. It has quite a few vents to the bottom to prevent the air fryer from overheating. So let's pull the tray out to see what the inside of the air fryer looks like. This section of the air fryer holds the frying basket. This air fryer has a heating element above the frying basket, which is very similar to a stove heating element, and it has some additional air vents. So let's check out the frying basket. This handle stays cool while cooking, which is a plus. So this is the frying basket. It is pretty light as far as the weight. Now we didn't mention if it's non-stick. So, Inside of that pan is the non-stick cooking tray and it comes with four rubber grips to keep it in place whilst it's in the pan. The two holes in the middle makes it easy to grip the tray with the index finger and your thumb. So the tray goes to the bottom of the pan. As you can see, the tray is very sturdy with those four grips. Now I can put my basket in place. The assemble is very easy. Let's check out the different functions. Start turns on the air fryer and menu shows you the different options of cooking, including the time and temperature. So menu will choose the different cooking options, air fry, roast, broil, bake, reheat, and french fries. So next we have the cooking time, press time, minus to decrease the time and plus to increase the time. 
to set the temperature, press temperature, and you can use either minus or plus to increase or decrease the temperature. Once that's set, press start. You can also use the start button to pause the cooking if you need to check on your food. So let's make some sweet potato fries. I'm adding half of the bag to my frying basket. I did wash the pan and cooking tray with a warm soapy cloth. The first thing I'm going to do is plug it in. I'm attaching my frying basket to the air fryer with my fries. I'm going to try and air fry it for 20 minutes on 400. So now it's done, let's see. So the temperature that I use is for fresh soaked french fries. Okay y'all, this is a bad example. Oh no, look at my fries y'all. So let's move on and make some veggie chicken burgers from Morningstar. And I'm going to put that at 360 for about two minutes. I had to improvise because we were out of buns and homemade mayo. Next, I have two chicken breasts that I have marinated overnight and I'm going to bake one and roast one. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a video on this recipe. I'm going to cook them for about 20 minutes at 360. So the baked one came out very tender and moist. It came out absolutely amazing. It smells so good. And the juices are just coming out whilst I'm cutting it. Check this out, y'all. I am a happy camper. I am not disappointed one bit. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever used an air fryer. So now let's check out the roasted chicken. It is crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. The inside is still tender and moist. Look at all the juices that's coming from this chicken. So my honest opinion on the Crocs GG air fryer is that it is amazing. Like where have you been all my life? It is not only faster but less stressful to cook. Let me know in the comments below how do you like your chicken? Baked or roasted? So y'all know what time it is, time to eat. I decided to have some of the baked chicken with some mac and cheese and a side of steamed broccoli. Gotta have some veggies. I definitely will be trying out other recipes with this air fryer. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye. For about two minutes. I had to improvise because we were out of buns and homemade mayo. Next I have two chicken breasts that I have marinated overnight and I'm going to bake one and roast one. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a video on this recipe. So I'm going to cook each one of them at 360 for about 20 minutes. I'm cooking them at three. I'm going to cook them for about 20 minutes at 360. They are all done. They smell so good. So the baked one came out very tender and moist. I should have used a sharper knife. It smells so good. They came out absolutely amazing. And the juices are just coming out whilst I'm cutting it. Check this out, y'all. I am a happy camper. I am not disappointed one bit. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever used an air fryer. So now let's check out the roasted chicken. It is crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. The inside is still tender and moist. Look at all the juices that's coming from this chicken. My honest opinion on this Crocs, my honest opinion on this Crocs GG, so my honest opinion on the, so my honest opinion on the Crocs GG, so my honest opinion on the Crocs GG air fryer is that it is amazing. Like where have you been all my life? It is not only faster but less stressful to cook. 
Let me know in the comments below. How do you like your chicken? Baked or roasted? I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye. I definitely will be trying out other recipes with this air fryer. I serve my chicken with some mac and cheese and a side of broccoli. So y'all know what time it is. Time to eat. So I'm having some of that baked chicken with some mac and cheese and a side of broccoli. I'm having some baked chicken with some mac and cheese and some steamed broccoli on the side. So I decided to try out the baked chicken with some creamy macaroni and cheese. I decided to eat the baked chicken with some mac and cheese and some steamed broccoli. I decided to have some of the baked chicken with some mac and cheese and a side of steamed broccoli. Gotta have some veggies.